Warning, the following show may contain strong language and themes of a controversial nature, such as questions about why people consider Marmite acceptable in this day and age. Right. Anyway, welcome back to Adventure Bastards Numenera. Um, it's been a while since we last recorded, um, and sadly we've had to we've had to lose Rhea along the way, who's um, uh, no longer able to join us due to um, uh, well, you know, her own reasons. I think it's mainly because of uh, Jax's character. <laughs> that is slander. Um, but that now defamation of character. But now this means on the positive side, we now have Charlie joining us. So, um, uh, Char Charlie, could you um, introduce your character, like say um, the name and what the type of character is and stuff? Yes. Um, where is it? Um, my character's Glenn. He's rugged, or she? Is it she? Yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you kind of should do that. It is rugged, no, I Glenn. I was going to be a. <laughs> no, she is rugged, and. It's in the glaive on the glaive yeah yeah glaive. and i've used flesh and steel because yeah flute. i've got rocket tits <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be repaired and not healed so don't fuck with me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. and she's, a bit, she's a bit thick <laughs> she's a bit thick <laughs> Just remember to role play that all the way through. Just like everything goes on, you're just like what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> so uh, since last time, you guys—I think it was Ember Peaks, was it the name of the, the place where you guys rescued heroically? Um, you uh, got our brain. You got your brain. You got your brain in a cage. <laughs> got your brain in a cage. Um, so you guys, since then, have been traveling south across the um, uh, across the wilderness. Um, on because if you recall, you were on a um, mission to um, well, uh, Virgil was on a mission to deliver a um, message, um, and you guys were all party to that. And then we got bored of Virgil and then left him. <laughs> mission was bored. Aww. That's not exactly what happened. I mean, in terms of story, what actually happened is one guy one day on the on the trail down south, you guys uh, woke up. Um, Jack suit as customary sl um, snuck into Virgil's tent. Woke in the morning without Virgil there. Um, Virgil Virgil was missing, and all there was was a note saying sorry on the floor. Hi. <laughs> he took his. He left me his tent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> left it, Aww, he left it well, of. mainly not to wake you up. <laughs> How sweet. So yeah, feel free to add a tent to your um your inventory if you wish. <laughs> I will. But along the way, while you were camping, you um, met up with uh, with Glenn here, who decided to join you on the mission. Um, not that you have a mission as such, um, other than maybe trying to figure out what happened to Virgil. But you guys haven't really got much choice but to carry on heading down south now. Um, and um, and so along, so that's kind of where, that's kind of where you are at the moment. You kind of sort of stuck without a specific mission, um, but you you know you've got the only choice is to carry on until you get to a major city or head back. So there's not really Did much. Did he leave the note he was delivering, or is he gone? At the that? moment, at the moment, no, no. All you've got oh, is okay. all you all you've got was a bit of paper that just said sorry. Um, oh no! That's really <laughs> at least he apologized. <laughs> For what though? What did he just leave it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send him a session diagnosing this note. No. <laughs> You're gonna be looking for the secret no. secret code. Yeah. I'll have morning sickness. That's all I can say. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, so one, so in a, within within about, I don't know within like um, four or five days of losing Virgil, you guys are camping out as you as you customarily do, um, and as the morning comes around, you're sort of um, packing up, getting ready to start the day, and you see a um, a young man uh, walking uh, walking towards you guys, seemingly with purpose. Um, 
he's got like a um a sort of pack mule type creature with him carrying his supplies and stuff and he comes and he comes sort of storming over and says um he says are you the team the team that um saved uh, Ember Peaks no. No. Who wants to know? No. <laughs> that's not you no Ah, it's just because I was I was really looking for a, a really capable team of adventurers, and I'd heard you guys. You, I'd, well, I thought it was you guys. You look uh, like the, they look the part. It's not. It's not You're you. Looking for a capable well, team of adventurers. No, no, but, well, uh, <laughs> out of, out of, yeah, where are they? Like. Oh, so it's not. Of, so you guys aren't out, capable. Have you got well, money? Out of, out of uh, curious curiosity, um, why? Oh well, you know, if I found such a capable team, I had a a worthy cause for them to get involved in, and with a, with good payment. Money payment, yeah, like money something money shit. Actual, <laughs> actual, actual money payment. Not sexual payment. <laughs> you know, what, what, what sex with you freak? I'm talking about like I don't want any more and... electric pairs or <laughs> metal leaves. I don't want anything. I mean, any... the guy says if the guy says if if sexual payment is what you're looking for, I mean, no, I can probably. No, it's not. <laughs> Shut up. He is. No, um, I I'll take money and cash. Um, oh, so well, do you, do you guys, if you guys aren't the Ember Peaks people, are you? Uh... <laughs> We are. No, we're not. We're capable. <laughs> capable. We're, we're not the Ember Peaks lot, but we, we can help you. Oh, okay. Well, he says, um, I'm just looking for a, um, a team to help recover um, a, lost, um, a lost item that would be absolutely vital to my employer. Um, and you'd be doing a great service um, to, the, to the common good of this land if you could, um, if you could um, help us out with it. The uh, common good of this land? I, I says, I, okay. I mean, I mean, I know I'm being vague. I'll, I'll explain myself. Um, yeah. My, my. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's go to a pub. Get no, a can drink. we just? I, no. <laughs> I <laughs> camping in the middle of a field. <laughs> Where do you think? Uh, are we not in the village? I thought we were in the uh, village. No, I'm afraid you're not in the village. You just didn't. This weirdo oh, just come up to us, us in the middle, middle of, of nowhere, field, <laughs> looking for us. So obviously. That's kind of weird. So like, <laughs> this is why I'm trying to ask for more information because this is just. A I bit... wanted him to buy me a drink. Well, he says I can. I, he says I, I do have drinks amongst my supplies if you'd like. I'm not taking well, it. Well, then. <laughs> oh, it's gummy donkey. Okay, Jax doesn't have to have any. But I hope I'll... you like roofy coladas. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, I don't want some, any of your roofy juice, man. All right. <laughs> I'll be the one that just packs down. Um, he looks through his packs and um and offers Ear a um a flask. He says this is strong stuff, but it'll um but it yeah, certainly okay. d it hits the spot. Um, I'm gonna pour everyone a glass of water. It's, it's, it's not it's, it's not water. No, I I'll, I'll oh. pour a glass. I'm not drink I, 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 I'm like my dad moody. I'm not drinking anything. I'm going to spit into Jax's drink. So Jax you, thinks... You can't. You, <laughs> you can't. You can't do that. You literally can't do that. <laughs> why can't I do it? Because I'll know. How? Why will you know? Because you can't force me to drink anything. You can't act, oh, oh, I've drunk. Can I, I roll? Make... You, you, the turn down. you can You can actually <laughs> roll to try and force feed drink to her. Oh my god. How much do I have to roll? Um, hold. The first roll of the new because session, I'll guys. Be <laughs> well, that's the thing. These rolls are harder because you're actually doing a pause roll. Hold on a second. Um, which is um, your character? It's Jax, isn't it? Uh, you would need to. Oh, no, actually, I don't think this would be possible. Really? I think this. I, uh. I think with um with Can't with how date rape me. <laughs> yeah, with um with how high her might currently is, you'd need to beat a roll of thirty on a d twenty. So you'd need to. Yeah. <laughs> the only way you do. That makes sense. Well, no, the, the way you do that is you um you'd have to use like a b pour all pour a bunch of your pool into lowering the numbers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But you ain't worth my time. <laughs> my might is fine with that as well. I think even getting it down to twenty would burn almost all of your end, your might pool just to get that part, even to to make it. Can we, can we camp afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be leaving you. In the okay, fine, fine, fine. Carry on. I'll just listen with a bottle of water. Um, I, I need to actually, I, actually, to be fair, in terms of rules, I need to double check how you do opposed rolls like that because we've never had you, one of you trying to force anything on the other before. You have. <laughs> you do it all the time. <laughs> not, not, not going so far as a roll, but never mind. It, hap it happens a lot in the guys' show because for some reason Johnny's always trying to hurt Askew's character, so he's like pushes no, him off boats and stuff. Like you said before, we literally are. Emmy is Johnny and I am Askew. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's literally how it's work, working out. <laughs> Set her face on fire. Um, so anyway, so you so you've got um uh, air, you've got a um a, a, a flask of like a whiskey type substance. I'm gonna keep this. And this this <laughs> here is special. You're taking his entire flask. I'm taking all of it. Yeah. He says he says no no it's fine it's fine um a, a token of goodwill if you would. 
Excellent. I'm I, gonna... There's something fishy about you, mate. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm putting that in my inventory. Flask of what? Whiskey. Oh, well, it's like it's alcohol, basically, but I mean, it's non it's non determinant alcohol. Frog. Non-determined. <laughs> I can't believe you're taking this. <laughs> Non-determined alcohol. That's mine. <laughs> Okay, carry on. He says, so yes, um, my my employer is um, in fact, in fact, have you heard of um, Bar Baranok, the um, the the city of Baranok? I says, well, it's a um, it's a a fabled um floating city just to the um just to the east of here. Um, and he says they're they're uh, they've been they've had many years of um. Of unrest and chaos um, since they lost their true ruler many many years ago. Um, my employer is the rightful heir to the throne, um, and has been trying to reclaim their place to um, to help bring stability to the land. Um, however, we um, you know it's difficult to you know anybody could just show up and claim to be heir to the throne. So we've been trying to recover a recording that proves their lineage. Um, but which has been stolen by a band of Murdens, and we're looking for someone to go to the Murdens lair and recover this recording. Yeah, thanks. Don't get involved in politics. Yeah, we we should going to pretend himself. to be the heir of this kingdom. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm the heir of the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I highly doubt that. He, he says, no, I, I, I assure you, um, uh, my, um, my, my employer, uh, Fiala Noran, is the is is the rightful heir, and the recording would will bear that out. Um, no, we... no, I assure you, I am the rightful heir. <laughs> okay. Um. He says you're a strange lot. <laughs> so, so we basically, you're asking us to go get a recording off a bunch of bandits, is it? Yes, essentially. But there's good money in it. That's not How much? hard. Uh, How much? Oh yeah, we didn't actually set up your um your money. I've just realised, um, Glenn, you should have some. But um, uh, anyway. I'm a bit. <laughs> oh, well, Glenn! Glenn came and we took all his mon her money. <laughs> that was that was the cue for joining the band. <laughs> to join, you must work. give us all your money. Oh, actually, no. After the um, character generation set you up, you, you've got five shins right now. Um, but he's offering um he's offering a, he's offering five shins each, which is quite which is a reasonable amount of money. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't sound like ten. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sure I've got more money than that. Um, so your character sheet will tell you how much I you've got. I don't have any money. Where's my money at? Uh, if you want statistics, it says shins. Oh yeah, Air a a a doesn't have any. Jax has five already, and um, Dea has two, and Glenn has five. God, why am I so? Oh, cool? I have five shins. Yeah. How does Glenn have money when she's a scrub? Uh well, scrub. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, she's literally a scrub. Like, literally. <laughs> well, she scrubs off the land, like. Well, in the you know, I mean, you you're not fully aware of what Glenn got up to before you met her, so. It says shens on your stats. Shins. <laughs> and seagulls. Farming rabbits gives you good dollars. Is hunt. it the lightning bolt or the basket? Basket. Oh, shins. Yeah, I see. It. Um, but yeah, he's offering he's offering five shins each to each of you to each of you for undertaking. And he also says he has some spare ciphers that he could probably give you as well. That's all right. I like ciphers. Ciphers are my thing. I don't know about this. Why? I want money. Why? Right. Okay. So you know you know you know that I like money more than anyone. Yeah. I like money more than any of you. Yeah. Obviously. Is this not a bit weird? We're camping in the middle of the woods, and this guy is just yeah. Well, I I want to ask him how he found us. Are we still pretty near the city that we just saved? Isn't that what? Five days away. Um, oh, yeah. he says I heard of you from a, a friend of yours, Virgil. How did you find us? Oh, Virgil, man! <laughs> Virgil came came through a um came through a small um encampment to the uh, to the south a few days ago, um. Yes. And uh, we, I, I told, I told him our predicament, and he said to look, uh, look for um, a group, a group that would resemble you, you folks. That, Did he help. say where he was going? Um, he, he said, in fact, he made it a point of me asking not, not to tell you guys where he was going. This guy. Did he tell you? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, he says, he says, look, he says, uh, I mean, he didn't tell me, but I do have, a, I did get some idea of where he might be going, and maybe I could tell you that if you help me out as well. I'm gonna get my Ooh. knife out and say maybe you can tell me now. I like this. I like <laughs> this guy. Okay. No, let's. It, I, I think we can. I, 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 too, bit, too late, I got my knife out. I'm advancing on him. Um, he says, please, please, there's no need for this. There's no need for this. It's just a fair offer I'm making. This isn't 
unfair. How is it not fair? It's because like, we're supposed to do an incredibly difficult task for you to just you tell us something that you could incredibly... just literally tell us right now. I'm... You could just say. How do you know it's difficult? I says, I says, like, the Murdens, the Murdens are, I don't know, they're not an insignificant force, but I'm sure. He'd be fine, like, looking for us to do it. If I'm it was easy, the guy would have done it himself. Um, Fucking king of the Murden kingdom, or third off, or, like, Hancock, or whatever guy. he's called. The king of fucking cock suckers <laughs> would want to do it himself if it was easy, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he do No, 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 because if he's, a, if he's an heir, he's not going to do fuck all, is he? Um, the royals, they just wait for it to fall into their lap. He'll be like, well, I'm like king and shit. You do it. He says, he says we don't, we don't have a fighting force. When we're, we're, we're trying to resolve the matter peacefully, it's for the good of um, uh, Baranok. I think we should do it. I'm not a fighting force. I want money, and I think having an ally who was potentially a king is kind of cool. You saw, you actually believe that oh, this guy's uh, the king? Oh, to be fair, I by the way, by, by the way, if. Just if I didn't clarify, Fialan Noran um, it should be the rightful queen of um, Baranok. Oh, it's a woman. This, this, the person you're talking to is a guy, but um, but the um, but the fine, uh... fine. the lady is a potential queen, and we will know when we hear the recording. We when we get the how will we know? Because we can listen to it. Oh, how what, how will that prove anything? Because apparently it will prove it. It's what he said. He said it proves it. So there must be something well, in Well, I'm it. sure if he said he could shit rainbows and vomit whiskey, <laughs> would you believe him as well? He could say anything Not he wanted. Until he did it, which is what getting the recording would be. But how will we know? Does that mean he anything? He the recording! What does it mean? Like, how will that prove anything? Listen. You are so gullible. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, well, I like money too. <laughs> And also, yeah, you have a point that, like, if she's not, even if she's not really the queen, I'm sure we could, like, make her the queen and then we would have a friend <laughs> who was royal. <laughs> okay. We will make them the queen. We will make them the queen. And then we'll still get money from her. We will have a queen friend who will be rich and live in a palace. And we'll and give us awesome stuff. Yeah. How do you know that they're going to be rich or live in a palace? How do you know this place is even real? Fluency sounds like shit to me. I don't care so much. <laughs> best friends left. We just leave her in the middle of the desert. <laughs> you could. Like, and all shit. Um. So the, at this point, um. Uh. Oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Um. Um. Oridus. I guess he didn't introduce himself. Oridus is is started to sense that maybe Jax might not be on his side, but the rest of you might be, and so he's kind of sort of not addressing Jax anymore. <laughs> he's just addressing <laughs> the rest like, of you. Can we not have a repeat of last time where it was an entire episode of arguing? Yeah, the first episode of um of Numenera was just forty five minutes of bickering. <laughs> Let's just say yes. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Um, we'll and he, take he, good job. he draws. He draws. A, he draws a um a uh, a rough map of the area for you. Um... In the shape of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that would look familiar. <laughs> that look familiar uh, for you, yeah. Um. And so basically, the ma so from from your camp point where you are now, the um he says the Murden encampment is just to the southwest. Um, a short walk, uh, like about um a few hours walk from here. And he says, um, he says he'll meet you back here. Um, he's he's happy to wait he wait here at this camp. Um, and he says also, um, the um, uh, if if you need to visit, um, he says Ber Berenok itself is 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 over to the east as well. But um, you shouldn't need to you shouldn't need to go there yourself. So. Where's the Queen? I wanted to go there eventually. Yeah, when, when the Queen. <laughs> um, where, says, where the Queen at, yo? Um, he says we have a um, we have a we have a sort of. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Base is probably too strong a word, but we have a pl so. we have a pl we have a place where we're um, we're gathering anyone who's um, um, sympathetic to our cause to help um, help sort of um, reclaim the throne. So if we get this recording, yeah, and then she gets like reinstated, can we be at the party? Like, whoop, whoop. oh, he says absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Anyone? Like, I mean, it's certainly um, if if you can achieve, if you can if you can pull this uh, this job off, maybe um, you could um, you could meet her yourself and see if you want to get involved and help. Oh, so I, I'm just gonna just gonna option. stop her there. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm, get, I'm just gonna get you three together. Can, can we just talk about this? <laughs> like, okay. I'm just gonna kind of look over to her. I'm like, okay, like. Would you like some alcohol? Shut up. Listen. How Why? do you not think this is a bit too good to be true? 
No. A random guy comes finds us in the middle of the forest, five days walk from any civilization, looking for us specifically, telling us he's going to give loads of money to restore some magical queen to a farty, floaty Jack. throne. Jack, <laughs> Jack, what do you currently have in a cage on your possession right now? Talk the brain. And who would believe that? Well, when I get the brain out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me get the brain Wait, out. Tom, like... <laughs> No one would even believe that you had a talking brain in a cage. Doesn't, doesn't matter. It, it kind of does. What? What's your point? Literally. What point is? You're like, doesn't this seem strange? Well, yeah, so do you. The whole land is strange. Everything about you is strange. <laughs> I have the brain. I have a, what? See what the brain would do. Um, I don't Maybe. know. He's sleeping. Like, <laughs> I don't want to wake him. He might, he might kill us all. He wouldn't kill. Well, he might kill you. He might kill you. No, he's my friend. I say maybe, so. maybe you've made him sleep too long. Right, I'm gonna get him out. <laughs> no, oh my God, that's not. <laughs> okay, that's so not I'm gonna just, idea. I'm gonna open the cage and I'm gonna take little Boggle okay. out. Okay, okay, Boggle, Boggle, um, Boggle <laughs> comes to um reanimates from his some stasis and says um. Hiding Boggle. And he says um I'm 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 yeah. he says I'm I'm doing well. Any sign of Virgil yet? No, not found him yet. Apparently, he saw this dude over here, but um. I don't know if we can trust him. That's the point. Virgil sent this guy to us. So, so, Borgel says, do you, want me to, do you want me to try and read this guy's mind? Ooh. Can you do that? I, I mean, I don't want to put you out or anything. But, but, by the way, do you remember... But, uh, Borgel doesn't talk. He talks to you telepathically, remember? Because he's only he can only speak through mind thingy. I know. Okay. But I uh, still talk out loud to him. Okay, well, he says... Will Borgel hurt this guy when he reads his No, mind? he wouldn't hurt him. Bill uh, Borgel's nice. I will... <sighs> and the guy will know I'm doing it. Well, okay. Well, oh, we oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We're not putting you out or anything. You don't, you know, you don't have to do this. No, he says I'm happy. You guys, uh, you guys released me. We, we, we're cool. We bros. Okay. <laughs> I got to turn to the guy and show him the brain. Bogle's gonna read your mind. Okay. <laughs> this is, the guy's, the guy's a little, a little put back by this. He's like, have what? Have you got anything to hide? He says, well, we all have secrets, but um. Well, we're gonna find out yours right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bogle. Um, okay, I need to do rolls against this guy. Give me two seconds. <laughs> oh, Borgle. Good old Borgle. God, Lauren, imagine if you didn't have a brain. Uh, d -d 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 -d. So, Borgle, um... Fails spectacularly. He doesn't fail, but he doesn't. He doesn't get a. He doesn't get a thorough read on him. Um, he says. Um, the guy. He says. Borgel says to you telepathically, so the guy can't hear it. He says. He says. Uh, this uh, gentleman has very strong um, mental resistance. He's obviously been trained trained against telepathy specifically. Um, he says. He says. He, he's definitely holding things back from you. He's definitely got secrets, but his intentions with regards to paying you for for retrieving um, the device for him are, are seem genuine. The offer, okay. the offer's genuine. That's good enough for me, I guess. Oh, is it? Is it now? Good. Borgel okay. says it's fine. Trust in Borgel. Do you want to hang out for a while, Borgel, or do you want to go back to sleep? Uh, Borgel says, uh, I, I do like, I do like the, the, the stasis. I do like the stasis. Yeah, I'll put you back in there. <laughs> I, I, I'll get you cushion next time, next town we go to. So we'll oh, so, thank you very much. That's really, <laughs> yeah. really thoughtful of you, Jax. Yeah. All the, all the shit everyone else in the party thinks about you is so unfair. <laughs> Sorry, what? Alright, let's write what we're doing. We're doing, we're doing it. it. Borgel said, yeah, we go. It says, it says fantastic, fantastic. You, um, uh, you know, your, um, your help will always be, well, will be greatly appreciated and you will definitely be remembered for the contribution you've made, you know, assuming success. That remains to be History clear. books. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, history books, yes. I'm sure they'll write many a tome and a song about you in the, in the, in the, in the new... Yes, they pronounce my name correctly. Oh, that's that. Well, you know, let's let's not hope for miracles. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. So. Um. Yeah. Uh, he gives you. A, he gives you a map to give you a rough direction. It basically follows a um a trail um trail to the southwest, as I said. Um, and and uh, yeah, that's what you got. Let's go. Are we like near the? Are we near the coast? Or are we still like in the middle? Uh, you're still on. You're still on the mountain path. You're not um like I can I can ping on the map roughly where you are. By the way. Ping. 
Um, so you're probably around here. You see that? Yeah. Not so sure. Yeah. So you've just been heading south from um, from where from the stuff you did at Ember Peaks. Okay. Um, there's not there's none of the things that you're going to encounter in this are going to be like landmarks on the map. Um, but um, yeah, because it's mostly just um desert wilderness. The map's shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. What is? Anyway. Wow. <laughs> It's the, going? Yes. Well, so where are we going? Uh, I mean, it's I mean, it's all all of the events in this adventure are going to be in the local area, so it's kind of like there's not specific map points, but um, I can give you like a I can give you a rough uh, rough drawing, I guess, of kind of where things are. It doesn't. I don't think it matters. Just tell us where we're going. Yeah. I just like to know. Uh, <laughs> the map is so big, we will literally not be able to decipher where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Like, let's just end. Anyway, so you do you want to follow this trail towards where he says the Murden camp is? Okay, let's follow it. Um, so yeah, the, the 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 trek isn't short. I mean, it takes you it takes you, uh, you, you you're traveling for quite a while. Um, on the road, you uh, meet a um, a uh, middle aged um, a middle aged woman who identifies herself as Veridan. Um, yep. Veridan. What's up? Um, she's driving a small cart and it's filled with various goods. Um, and so she's very, she's um, she's very chatty and friendly. She says, "Oh, always good to see um, always good to see people on the trails. Is there anything you need to buy? I'm always happy to um, always happy to do business with um, good folks." Don't look at this lot; they're broke. <laughs> do you do you stock cushions? Oh, it's just, oh, cushions. You know, you know, I could probably just give you a cushion. We've I've, I've got um, they're not as in demand as you might imagine. Here we go, go then. Got any good ones? Uh, not, not any good ones. No, good cushions have probably cost you a shin, but I can give you a, 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 a you know. What Let's colour? just take a cushion for Bogle. What colour? Uh, she gives you, like, she says, if you want for free, which was my, I thought, generous offer. This is like this, I um... Thank you, generous offer. <laughs> this, um, brown, this brown, slightly stained cushion. Oh. I don't know if that's good enough for Bogle. I mean, she says, oh, but I mean, if you want something nicer for a shin, I can get you a nice red silk one. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, she 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 sort of gets well, off her cart and starts digging don't through the back. That one, then. <laughs> oh, because I doubt you will. <laughs> um, and I yeah, it's a free one. Uh, she's stained. Sh <laughs> stained. He's stained. <laughs> He's going to stain it himself. He's a better friend to me than you've ever been. Uh, wow. She dig she digs through the back and um and pulls out like this um uh, beautifully ornate like um like and you know um it. silk silk what red cushion like it's been like it looks it looks like something like you know it's got like, little tassels on the end. exactly yeah it's like it's beautifully decorated and it's like it's got slides of like the gems in it look I've got like a weird glow to them it just looks mm. it looks absolutely lovely. Bogle's gonna love this. This is ex like an expensive cushion for nothing. Do you want to shut up? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh my god. Um, thank you. Here's a shin. All right. So do you, do you want to deduct a shin from your thing, um, from Jack's character sheet? Your, from your massive pile of money. Is it? Add your ornate cushion to your possession list. Uh, do I have to go back and edit the edit bit? Yeah. Can you not do it on the thing you want? Does it not uh, let you do it on live? Oh, that's a shame. I'll just do it on the edit one then. Um. But yeah, Veridan says um, thank you very much. Um, if, but um, I mean, it says I'm 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 heading off to the north now, so I don't know if you guys um, if I'll see you guys again. Um, wait. Um, you, but if you do need anything, um, I'm sure you'll find another trader, I suppose, because I probably won't run into you again. Have you got any um guns? Uh, she says I don't generally carry weapons, um, because that kind of attracts the wrong type of customer. It says no, what? What are you implying? <laughs> She's, no, not not you. You 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 all seem like lovely ladies. I'm just um I'm just trying. You know, if you if you carry weapons, people see see my goods rather as being a resource as being as being something worth much more worth stealing. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, did, she, did she have a horse that I can buy? <laughs> uh, she's she's only got she's only got one. Well, she's got one creature that, that that's vaguely horse-like, but she's kind of using it to to pull the cart. Kind of using it. <laughs> being the keyword there. Not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she said she asks where you guys are heading. Don't know. Space. Sorry. It's Space. a secret. The Murden camp. Oh, hold on a sec. I'm gonna kill some Murdens. There you go. She says, I, I, I mean, are you sure you want to head down there? It's a danger. It's a, I mean, I've, I, um, I had to, I had to go, go off the track to get her to avoid those guys. It's okay, we're pretty dangerous ourselves. So. so she's a pussy. <laughs> Does she not have any of them there are? 
Uh, hold on, she might do actually, yeah. Um... Let's get some information. Uh, she says I saw six of them. That's fine. Do they look tough? Right. Are they like ripped? <laughs> Are they single? What's their hobbies? They have beards. <laughs> they have lovely eyes. <laughs> so, uh, well, they didn't. Look, I mean, they didn't look all too tough. But I mean, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have wanted to go against six of them myself. But maybe you guys would fare better than me. It just. I just. Yeah. I just, it's not something I would take, look lightly. I mean, why go looking for a fight kind of thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, why go looking for a fight? Because there's money! <laughs> oh, so I wouldn't have take, taken you for mercenaries, but, you know, it takes all sorts, doesn't it? I'm not a mercenary. I'm broke. Uh-huh, well. I just like fighting people. <laughs> <laughs> She, yeah, she looks at Dea De and sees you like old warrior princess dressed up like. She goes, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> and she notices Glenn carrying like the massive axe or, sorry, the maul, the massive two-handed maul. <laughs> Is that what you're carrying? You're a monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got a maul, I'm a fucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and Veridan says on second look, actually, you guys do look quite like we're fighters. <laughs> you speak for them, I don't know about me. I, I don't think I look very well, no, much like no, a fighter. No, you're absolutely right, because Jax doesn't do anything in the fight. <laughs> I don't want to die. I'm, I'm with you. the last time. I'm went... with you, Veridan. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I'm with you. I don't like to fight. I don't want to die. Like, you, like, Jax sits at the back. <laughs> Jax stays him. alive. It says... She says, anyway, um, she says, but if you guys are mercenaries and are looking for work, you might want to um, uh, check out Baranok once once you're done with the, the Murdens. Is that Baranok? Is that the place where the Queen's from? Uh, I'm, I'm not talking to her, I'm talking to them. I, I think so. It sounds familiar. Is it? Baranok is the name of the, it's the, name of the floating island, yeah. It is, yeah, yeah. Why do you say that? He says, um, well, I've, I've, I've heard that, you know, they've been um, in trouble recently with um, uh, a, a, an outlaw called the Spider Knight that's been um, been uh, attacking, trying to attack the city. Ooh. That's a shitty thing. Let's fight him. I don't know. I bet he's got, like, eight arms and... Oh, oh. He's got eight dicks. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's Thank why he's know. called the Spider Knight. <laughs> he's got eight dicks. And comes at night. <laughs> Um, but he says, yeah, um, yeah, they, I've, I've, I've heard a few um, reports of um, uh, outbreaks of fighting and stuff, and um, so yeah, if I were you, I wouldn't, I would, I'd check out Baranok. They're probably in need of a band of mercenaries like yourselves. It's all right, we got that covered. Oh, great. Well, it's good to hear it. It's good to hear it. Is the floating city on the map? By the way, Karen. Sorry. Is the floating city on the map? Uh, it's not on. It's not on the map. You like you would visibly it's see it. Floating. Yeah. <laughs> Like of course it's not on the map! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, woo! A shadow would be like on the map. <laughs> <laughs> no. this, yeah, this isn't a real time updated map, like, you know. <laughs> Is there a way to like adjust certain people's volume on Skype? No, I'm afraid not. Carry on. Um, anyway, yeah, it's up to you. So, anyway, um, Verdon, Verdon says if there's nothing else, I'll, I'll be on my merry way. Uh, wait a minute. No, it's okay. Never mind. Okay. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? Can we like hide in her car and she like smuggle us into like? She's going, She's going the opposite, opposite way. way. <laughs> or we could maybe convince I... her to go back. <laughs> can I get in, Can I get in the car and just go with her? I can't be. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it seems more like my kind of person. Veridan <laughs> says she's not really looking for passengers, you know. She we're gonna say goodbye, and we're gonna drag Jax, and we're gonna go. <laughs> oh, I forgot I've got cigarettes in my pack. <laughs> ja Jax is happy now, let's go. Okay, okay. Right. right, so after another couple of hours, you uh, approach a, um, uh, a campsite. Um, you can see you're, you're still in the sort of tree line, but you can see in the distance... Uh, Four high tents um, with all like sort of um, marking around a campsite. Um, um, I've got a couple of um, skills that might be useful. Well, special abilities, sorry. Okay. 
Um, I've got um, stalker and tracker abilities, so maybe um, what I want to do is kind of like assess the area, see if there's any locations I can pinpoint that they come in and out of, like common, commonly used entrances and exits, that kind of thing. Okay, well just give me a roll. Give me a d20 roll. Uh, okay, I'm going to put some effort into it because I think it's important that we find out. I just click the, a minus on... It, it's no, no, click the heart symbol once. Oh, okay. Is it intellect? Or, yeah, it will be intellect, won't it? Uh, for this, yeah, 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 yeah. And that'll take me down to 12, is that right? Uh, it'll, I, I don't know what it'll do to you, but yeah, yeah. But just because my mouse is broken, so it double clicks as long as it's done. Right. That's alright. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just checking how um, difficult this would be. Oh, yeah, you easily, easily, easily succeed. So, yeah, you can um, you can tell just by um, um, looking at getting a general sense of the campsite and the tracks that um, uh, for the most for the most part, they like they've probably been here at this place for um, for a while now. Um, and that this because there's not a huge amount of foot, um, foot traffic in and out but what foot traffic in and out there has been is all down one specific route down the main trail um but you guys are aren't on yeah, i assume you guys but like i haven't actually gone close enough yet to from the main trail for them to see you but they um but, but basically what you get the sense of is though is that the woods surrounding the campsite they don't go in and out of the woods really okay um do we know what meridians are uh meridians yeah um they are hold on a sec i've got a Let's quickly look them up so I can give you a bit more information. Page two four seven. Uh, two seconds, sorry. Yeah, at least one of you would know already. Um, have a general idea what Murdens are. They're not such an obscure creature Murdens, that you. Sorry. Yeah, that you wouldn't have never. You wouldn't have heard of them. Um, I don't necessarily know which one of you knows, but one of you would know. Um, hold on a sec. So yeah, these are kind of like, like, uh, ab they're, they're, it calls them abhumans, which is kind of like you know deformed humans, I guess. They walk upright, but you'd never mistake them for humans. They've got backs hunched dramatically forward. Um, the skin is covered in shiny black down. Huge black eyes above like a um, a sharp dirty yellow beak. They're kind of like, so they're kind of like um, raven-like faces. Mm. No, no, that's not okay. I'm not okay with that. Um, and you would also be aware that um, they don't speak, they generally communicate um, uh, telepathically and that their communication is generally considered quite um, intrusive um, like and painful. Oh god. Um, okay, so um, do we know that they could, so I'm guessing that since they can, they work telepathically, they can probably like census in other ways than sight and hearing and stuff uh yeah but i mean unless they were uh, unusually strong telepaths they i mean um that telepathy wouldn't be much better in terms of distance than sight if you know what i mean okay okay and i'm guessing they just got average sight senses of sight and hearing uh yeah let's see um i mean you, i guess you don't know them in that much depth but yeah okay um i guess i'll say like they can't hear you laura if, if we pick them off one by one, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, I don't think we want to go to that main entrance because if that's the way they go in and out, we maybe want to try and find like a another way in. Uh, right. So do you want? I mean, we're we're only here to retrieve the recording. Really, we don't have to. We don't have to necessarily fight them all, do we? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It Might would help like... if we knew where the recording was. I mean. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm pretty good at this, but it is my job to um, steal stuff and then bring it back. Sure. It just, like, might be because right now, like, we have, like, the element of surprise, like, and we could, like, maybe take down, like, two or three of them before they, like, notice we were there. Whereas if you try and steal something and they catch you in the middle of it, you're going to have all six of them. Or we could do a combination you. of both. The three of you could run someone, in and try and like make a big fuss distract and, and distract yeah. them and start fighting them, and then I could sneak and try and... How many tents are there? So, there are four tents. Um, one is slightly larger than the others. I'd say go to that one. Um, you see, let's see, you see about three of them are by the campfire, um, and you see signs of um, of um, people in the of, of well creatures in the other tents, but you know you don't actually see the ones in the in the other. But you see three out in the open right now. I guess technically three. speaking, the recording's probably gonna be in the big one. Well, we don't know that. I mean, we can check the big one first, and then if it's not, just 
Yeah, but if, if, it's only four, if it's only four, then it shouldn't take you that long to go through all four of them. No, I'll be fine. But then, so. like, how do we disengage? Like, run away? Um, what, cyphers, away. what cyphers have we got? I guess the question you're asking is anyone got a cipher that might be useful in the situation? Yeah, yeah. like read I, ciphers. I have a pipe. <laughs> um, not a smoky pipe, like a um, pipe of light. Shoots a beam. Shoot them in the face. Yeah, because you've got um. Not, not quite what I was. Yeah, because <laughs> Glenn's got essentially a wet, um, a wet, both a, an offensive and a defensive cipher. Um, I don't think you have anything specific. But you have anything yeah. specifically utility for this kind of scenario? I, I've got one, but um, it's level six. What does it do? A uh, large, heavy synth lens with engraved symbols. When attached to a projectile and activated, sprays an arc at medium range on a medium area, causing hallucination for one hour. So similar well, to that's the dog like, thing. that's like the thing we used last time. But it's level six. And yeah, which means which means you're like an eighteen to roll it, basically. Um, unless you, I mean, you could spend you could spend um. <laughs> Um, it's could, an option. You could spend pull to roll that lower that roll, but you'd still, still the, even if you lowered it, the roll would still be a fifteen to use the level six one. So. Yeah, well, that is like a, a dire situation one. Um, I don't really. I've got one I don't understand. Do you want to tell me what it, it is? It says um, a shining panel when attached and activated causes a targeted object at a short range to go out of phase for one hour. Oh, well, the ball. Yeah, okay. That if you attach that to someone and switch that on, they basically aren't. They're like in a like they're out of this dimension for an hour, basically. What level is that? Um, it's level cool. seven. Yeah, I was gonna say because that means so, that's that makes you kind of like invisible. Um, but like you know you can't touch or do anything to anything around you. So like it saves you, or it puts something big out of like. You, you could probably run through walls and things like that if you're out of phase as well. Oh, I see. So I can attach it to a person. Yeah. But only one. Yeah, and it would only work for an hour, wasn't it? And but I mean, that, you could you 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 could use that offensively and defensively because you use that yourself to get in and out of somewhere. Oh well, to get yeah. in somewhere because you only use it once. Or if you you could if you if you manage to attach it to someone who didn't want it on them, you could sort of send them away. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I get you now. I get you now. Okay, yeah. that's not really much use. Mm. And it's a hard roll, so. And it is a hard roll, yeah. You know, uh, Lauren, Lauren, I also have like I have careful movement, which I'm gonna guess is essentially like could sneak mm. so like potentially like we, we could try just like sneaking in yeah i've got sneaking as well i have initiative <laughs> yeah the best all right yeah. God, wow so some of you guys what you want to do i, I think we're just we... sneaking and we'll kick off with us kick off with us yeah we just need to work out how we're going to disengage well why don't you guys run down the main path and just start kicking off, and I'll try and sneak in from another. Another. How will we know when you've got it? I'll say I've got it, and then I'll run past you. <laughs> <laughs> that just doesn't seem like a good idea because if we do that, think about it. They will know that you've got it, and they'll chase us. Whereas if they don't know that you've taken anything and we disengage, they might just go whatever, leave them. They've not done anything. Well, okay. Try and it's if I can signal. sneak out, try and disengage. If they leave you, then that's fine. If they don't, then I'll. Shoot some Have you of them. got a gun? You've got a gun, haven't you? Yeah. Maybe you could just, when you get out, you could shoot in the air. We hear the bullet, then we disengage. They won't know that you've got anything to do with us. Good idea. Have we got parents? Do we have clear like we've got clear sight to three of them? They're just sort of wandering around the camp. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, you can see that there's like, three of them wandering around the camp. Yeah, yeah. Are they all sort of spread out or are they together? No, the three of them are kind of set around the campfire in the middle. Didn't the woman say there was like six of them though? Yeah, so yeah, I reckon there'll be some in the tent as well. But if you make a big enough fuss, maybe they'll, they'll all come out. out. Yeah, they'll come yeah. out. Yeah. And I'll wait until they're all on you guys to sneak in. Cheers. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. And then when you find the item, assuming you find the item, um, <laughs> you can escape, shoot your gun, and we'll use that as a disengage, and we will regroup back there <laughs> somewhere. And well, we could just, like, if depending on how easy they are to kill, we could just... Yeah, like, you might kill them by the time I'm done. We might kill them, but we might not. I mean, you can set yourself on fire, so I don't imagine that... <laughs> I can set... No, I won't want to set the tents on fire. Until... No, not until I'm done looking at <laughs> them. Yeah, because it's, well, it's, it's not a bit of paper we're looking for, I was going to say. Um, okay, should we just... Should, yeah. we, should we go with that plan? Do you guys want to <laughs> go ahead down that path, and I'll go, like, behind the tents? Yeah, yeah so, you, so I assume, uh, Jax, you're going to go into the into the forest and circle around the camp. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sneak, uh, use my stalker ability. 
I I'm would like to try and take the... one of them out, like, kind of ninja style, like, if that was possible, but if they're all sitting around the camp together, then it seems like maybe not. Uh, I mean, yeah, with their current positioning, unless they moved, it would be difficult to just take one of them, one of, there isn't like a stray one to grab kind of thing. Sure. Let's just walk in. Maybe we could even start a conversation with them. <laughs> Hi, friends. They don't telepathically. <laughs> well, they won't the necessarily break. attack us. Okay, go for it. Has go, anyone got a worm? It. Maybe we can feed them worms. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna start walking <laughs> away now. I'm starting to walk.